And this is Introduction to Goldfish Tank Maintenance 101. So what we have here is we have a 10 gallon goldfish tank that was acquired from the Glen East Department complex. And uh, the history behind this is that they were doing some maintenance on the pond and these six fish um, were just desiccating. They were draining it and they didn't know what they were going to do with them so we rescued them at the last minute. And um, since that day um, the, the tank has grown and acquired several more inhabitants which we will explain more about momentarily. So aren't they wonderful? So what we have here, we have six goldfish that are growing rapidly and they've all been named just recently and that's Navena, Maguey, Moscato, Mike, Wasabi, who is very recognizable, you see he's the white colored one, and Don Fletcher. And in addition to these, um, uh, we of course, you know, became dissatisfied with um, our collection and added more. So, um, by accident, when we introduced some snails, which you can actually see some snails over here, uh, one snail and its reflection right there, and uh, I believe that's Mike feeding next to that snail, um, uh, two small little guppy like fish, I think, believe they're neon tetras, were brought in. And uh, by accident, so we have those. And uh, but we only, we're down to one. I think the smallest one, Pequeño, was eaten, and Chiquita is the last one remaining, who kind of swims at the top there. And we'll see how long Chiquita hangs on. Um, we've also got four shrimp. Two of those are ghost shrimp, which are fairly large, half the size of the goldfish, so they're still alive. Um, but the other two are these red cherry shrimp which uh, used to hang out inside of the plants here but we have not seen them for several days so we have a feeling that they were probably eaten. The other members of our biotic community are four species of plants that we acquired when we went to get the Fishmate F14 automatic feeder and um, the guy who sold that to us gave these to us and here's an Anamopsis californica just seems to be doing very well. It's uh, rooted in this small grow ball off to the side and then it dips down into here and then there's this um, some sort of a uh, it's related to water chestnut and nasturtium you know we don't know yet but it's just roots but you can actually see that it's starting to grow its little tap its little leaves there and um, that's a product of this high intensity fluorescent light that we installed here uh, that we got at a store called Sea of Green, which um, sells tomato type growing equipment, I guess. And um, I actually couldn't really convince the guy that we were actually doing these plants. Anyways, um, so we've also got this wild lettuce, and then there's this floating thing that is really cool. It's just these inflated gourds, and you can see the root system is, is really healthy and intact. And um, we have various mechanisms in order to maintain this, and I'll explain those.